This is lesson nine in the iOS learning path. And this lesson is going to review what we've covered so far. And so we've had eight previous lessons in the iOS learning path. And um, a lot of those lessons were real brief and real short and real simple. A lot of them were a little bit more complicated and a little bit faster paced. And we've been working this entire time on our sample harbor application. But in review, we started out and we talked about understanding Xcode and what it did. And ultimately what we decided was Xcode was a compiler um, for iOS apps. And without it, we wouldn't be able to turn our source code into a binary file, which is installed on the app or installed on a, on a device. So we understand Xcode in lesson one. And then in lesson two, um, we moved on and we tried to understand um, iOS at its basic level. And we talked about how iOS um, controls apps um, and foreground processes, background processes, um, and all kinds of things um, that the developer doesn't have to do, like hardware, uh, battery, etc. And so understanding iOS, um, I think, will um, help a lot of people really get their head around um, how similar it is to other operating systems and also um, how simple it is. It doesn't do a whole lot and it does allow us as developers to do pretty much whatever we want. So in lesson three we moved on to views and view controllers. Um, we talked about adding views and creating sub views. We talked about the UI kit and how everything inside of the UI kit um, is or everything that we put on the screen is part of the UI kit like UI labels and UI text views and things like that and how those are all sub views or excuse me subclasses of the UI view um, class so that was views and view controllers and then in the fourth lesson we discussed a little bit about how iOS manages properties and methods um, actually that's objective C that's not really iOS and so properties and methods um, help us um, organize our code and arrange our code in ways that um, allow it to function and allow it um, to flow in the way that we, the developer, decide. So properties, um, we talked about properties being um, describing objects, um, and we talked about methods um, doing things. And so that helped understand a little bit about properties and methods. And then we moved on and we talked about control flow and how source code um, flows from class to class and method and method to method based on how we arrange um, the order of operations in our project. We did a couple of little samples with that. Um, we talked about tracking events and the, and the output console and how the output console can help us um, figure out where code is running using the NS log statement and that NS log statement um, outputs outputs hints and debug info that we create um, to help us as programmers figure out what's going on inside of our project. Um, after we tracked events, we talked about the configuration data. And this is really when, um, kind of the first time that we started talking about the uniqueness of a BuzzTouch project versus um, just a standard iOS project that was not created um, using the BuzzTouch control panel. And really the biggest difference is, is um, the combination of the plugins and the configuration file, the JSON data, that helps us easily um, load and unload screens um, without writing a lot of code in essence. So we talked about JSON. And then um, in our last lesson, we talked about loading plugins and how different class files um, read, the, read or parse JSON data to determine um, which screen to load, which screen or which plugin to load. And so we did a, did a couple samples and changed the, the data a little bit so that we could load our blank screen. And so that brings us to lesson nine, this lesson, this review. And really, um, this brings us to what I consider to be the beginning review here, which is the beginning of your learning. And I say that because um, where do you go from here, where do you go from here, is, is entirely up to you. You could continue um, learning about how to how to program Objective C. You could go um, kind of full on into one language, or maybe you want to pursue the Android operating system in a basic way, because after all, the Android operating system is a lot like the iOS operating system in that 
Um, it's a mobile operating system and it manages applications and different things installed on a device. And so we think that the next place for you to go is to learn how to distribute apps. And in essence, this means to try to get your head around how the App Store works and how the iTunes Connect uh, Marketplace works. And there's lots of different resources online and lots of resources in the How To section um, on the BuzzTouch website. And of course, the forum is a great place to learn about distributing apps. In essence, you're just going to be compiling the application with a provisioning profile associated with it to code sign the application. And this lesson, of course, isn't going, to, isn't going to cover that. But my point I'm trying to make is we've taken nine lessons and we've given you, or eight lessons plus this review, and we've given you an, an overview, an understanding of how iOS works. And it's going to be up to you to determine what you want to do with this new information that you have. Um, you might want to continue to pursue iOS at a more advanced level, or maybe not. Maybe you want to pursue other interests. We encourage you to stay enthusiastic and stay interested. Um, becoming a skilled mobile developer is certainly going to be worth your while. Um, now that you have your head around how a BuzzTouch project is put together, um, you may decide that it's not for you. We totally understand, and you may pursue an entirely different development approach. That's completely okay. Um, we believe that our method is um, an efficient and organized way for new developers to get started creating apps um, at, at a higher quality than a lot of the other solutions out there. So we appreciate you taking the time to go through this learning path, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.